Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New York State Audit here, exercising our First Amendment right, freedom of the press, at the Schenectady County Office Building, located in Schenectady, New York. So we are here to have the Deputy County Clerk served. Uh, the person who is serving them is already inside. Uh, they're waiting for me, I'm about to go inside now. Today. I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. I am looking for Dementra Constantine. Dementra. Dementra Constantine. Uh, I have paperwork for her. That's all you have to tell me. We'll wait. No. We'll I'll wait. wait until she's done because I want to personally hand it to her. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can look through the stuff if you want.
Or I need to get a, a photo of the uh, lean on the surface. Yeah, or a copy of the, what, what? Oh, just a copy of that? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm sure you can find it in the... Thank you. You're welcome. Are you recording me? I'm sorry, what was that? No, he was not. He was Just recording relax. Else. I'm recording everything I can see. Okay. If you were there, then I recorded you. Have a good day. So I guess while we wait, uh, I'll explain the process. So I served them a uh, notice of claim in May. Was it May? No, I think it was July. I think it was July. So I served them in July, notice of claim. And uh, in New York State, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to have a 50H hearing. And uh, pretty much what that is, is where you meet with their lawyers uh, under oath and tell them pretty much what happened. So after the hearing, you have a certain amount of time where they consider making an offer. Uh, after that time is up, if no offer is made, then that's when uh, the person whose rights were violated, or the person who's filing suit, the person who served them the notice of claim, now they can proceed uh, to take it to court. So that's how that process works. So we already did, did uh, everything that we were supposed to. We served them like we were supposed to in a timely manner. Uh, set up the 50H hearing. We did it uh, on Zoom, over the phone. So it wasn't in person. Uh, after a certain amount of time, I can't remember how much time it is off the top of my head, but after that, uh, they never reached out. So it's obvious that they're not interested and uh, making an offer. So we're here uh, to serve uh, Demandra Constantine when she comes out from hiding from the back. So with this process, uh, you're allowed to, as the plaintiff, you're allowed to serve them the notice of claim with no problem. But when you serve them uh, lawsuit papers, you literally have to have someone else serve them for you. You cannot personally serve them yourself or uh, it, it'll be no good. Stretching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Miss Constantine, you've just been served. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, so we just finished serving uh, Demantra Constantine. So we'll be seeing her in court unless they decide to make an offer. Uh, but uh, we've already been here for almost like 30 minutes and I'm trying to do some other things. So normally I would look around, but I'm not. Right now, I'm just gonna go to the sixth floor and once, uh, we're, excuse me, we're already on the sixth floor and I just gotta go in to see if I can speak to Miss Alyssa because I have a couple FOIA requests that are like, like nine or more months overdue. So I'm gonna be filing an appeal once I get back to my house. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I would like to speak to Miss Alyssa in regards to a couple of FOIA requests, unless Jeff is here. Uh, Jeff is not here. This is Hi. Hi. How how, I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Um, I just have. Uh, I'm going to be filing an appeals okay. for these uh, two FOIA requests. Yeah. One of them, uh, the acknowledge of receipt at least was eight sixteen twenty two, and the other one was five twenty eight twenty two. Okay. So. Um, if you want, you can look right now for yourself. I believe that's seven, or excuse me, one seventy-five dash twenty-two for mm -hmm. that one. I don't know if that's like the uh, reference number mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then this one's one seventy-three dash twenty-two. Okay. Okay. So this one is going to be for like uh, the records, investigative uh, records, or you know any kind of like uh, disciplinary records. And okay. so if I remember correctly, yep. for this yep. particular one, for these two office, uh, deputies, okay. deputy, uh, Jones and Rayel. Okay. And this one pertains to the post office and 911 call. I've already got an acknowledgement from receipt from you guys. Uh -huh. And I also got a response from Jeff who yep. needed the, uh, clarification when it comes to the address. I gave it to him. Yeah. Okay. That was in, in like June okay. or something. You know June what I mean? Of, of 2022. Not oh. of this year. All this stuff is old, overdue, okay. over a year old. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, the way the process is, is uh, from what I remember, if you don't respond uh, within five days or five business days, I believe, then that's considered a denial. But because you guys did respond, yep. you guys have 21 business days by law. Yep. Okay. And you guys have failed to do that. Okay. okay? I can, I so can what I'm going to do... Yeah, you can Go look. Ahead. You can look back, and yeah. of course, yeah. but I'm still gonna take the steps that I need to take okay. because this is unacceptable. This okay. is not my first time coming in here to complain about foils. Sure. You know, this is unacceptable. I do apologize. And it's it's not even your responsibility. So you know, I don't even know why you're apologizing. I appreciate it because I know it's Jeff's responsibility. We've already sure. talked about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I can check though. I thought that we had responded to all no, of them. No, no, of course, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, I, not at all. 
Okay. I wish you did, to be honest. But uh, regardless if you're going to look or not, okay, uh, I'm going to be, once I get to the house, if you can please be kind and write me, who do, who do uh, appeals go to? Uh, county manager's office. So, which is Rory, uh, Rory Fluman? Yes. Right? Yes. Can you please give me his email? I'm sure I got it at the house because I remember his name. Okay. Uh, and I've already filed a complaint against somebody that works in his office. Sure. So if you can give me his... Do you, if, do you want me to uh, email you all of the information for the appeals? That's perfect. Process? Yeah, sure. Okay. I already have it. Okay. Uh, but I would like for you yeah, to email I, I it as well. Yeah, I can email you again. Yeah. That's no problem at all. Um, because he hasn't responded within the uh, 21 business days, naturally, that is... I, I can only determine that as a denial. So okay. regardless of what you guys do, okay. I'm gonna f once I'm finished here and I get home, I'm filing the appeals okay. with uh, Rory, Rory Flume, excuse me. And uh, naturally, it's gonna go to the Committee on Open Government. Okay. You know, so they're gonna be aware, you know, because they deal with uh, the policies and procedures and stuff like that. So hopefully, they can fix whatever the hell's going on here, okay. <laughs> to be honest, because I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but you guys are definitely in dereliction of duty, okay. clearly. So I'm not going to point anyone out, and I can, but I'm just going to say, oh, somebody's breathing kind of heavy over there. Is she all right? It's probably because okay. she's one of the people who, who uh, got a complaint of dereliction of duty, so I can understand why she's blowing air. <laughs> sure. So, so um, yeah, as, as soon as, I, I'll send you an email right now um, with all the appeals. I'll also, what were the numbers on those? Yes. Just so I can uh, Of course, of course. The first one is 17322. 173? Yep, and the other one's 17522. Okay. At least that's what uh, I've jotted down from looking at the emails. Okay. 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 Oh, um, one last thing. I'm gonna. Who do I file a complaint to about like people here? Right? It's to Jeff, right? Uh, what do you mean? Like, if I want to file a complaint, employees, would it be Jeff? Sure. Or is so, it you? Uh, typically, um, your best bet would probably be county managers. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I was told, if I remember correctly, that I was supposed to go to you guys and stuff. So I'm. Got it. I can get you an answer on that. As okay. Well. Yep. All right. Yeah. Please. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate okay. that. That's pretty much it. You take care, Miss Alyssa. Have a great day. Sure, you too. Have a good Thank day, you. ladies. All right, everyone. So that was pretty much it. I was here to have Demantra Constantine served. The next person, so I'm going to do another video. The next person is going to be uh, Stockman. He's the officer that arrested me here. So I already put out the body cam footage, and you guys have already seen it. And if you haven't, check it out. I'm going to make sure I attach it to the end of this video that way you can see exactly what's going on what's happening and all that or what happened and stuff so obviously the first part was to serve them the second part was to uh, find out what's good with these foils so I'm obviously gonna have to do some appeals as you already heard uh, <laughs> but that pretty much it I appreciate all the, uh, everyone all of you for supporting the kid sticking with the kid through everything uh, you know, hopefully we can get the justice that we deserve. Um, hopefully it doesn't even have to go to trial. But, you know, if they're hard headed and they don't want to uh, make a, a deal or something, then naturally we're going to have to take it to trial because I demanded a, a jury trial. But that's it. Take care of one another. I can't even talk. I need to get some water. <laughs> See you guys next time.